Many glaciers in Southeast Alaska are thinning and retreating rapidly. And our research is helping us to understand how these changes are impacting rivers. We're here at the confluence of Mendenhall River, which is fed by the Mendenhall Glacier and Montana Creek. This is a nice place to illustrate some of the fundamental differences between glacier rivers and non-glacial streams. We collect water samples every week to help us understand the differences in water quality between these two streams. One of the most notable differences is in water clarity. The Mendenhall sample in my left hand is much cloudier because the Mendenhall Glacier is continuously grinding up bedrock into a fine powder that we call glacial flour. The glacial flour is deposited in Mendenhall Lake and transported downstream. Water clarity is important because it controls the amount of sunlight that can penetrate into the stream, which in turn regulates biological activity. Another important difference between these two streams is their temperature. Temperature of Montana Creek is about 48 degrees. If we move over into the Mendenhall River, temperature drops dramatically down to only 37 degrees. The cold water coming off of glaciers can limit biological activity in the stream, but it can also provide important habitat for salmon. This is Cowie Creek, which is a productive salmon stream in the Juneau area. The headwaters of Cowie Creek are fed by runoff from glaciers. During warm, dry periods in the summer, this glacier runoff helps to sustain stream flow and also to maintain the cool water temperatures that salmon need. In contrast, Peterson Creek, another productive salmon stream in the Juneau area, receives no runoff from glaciers. During dry periods in the summer, the stream flow can drop dramatically and the water can become too warm for salmon. This research is important because it will help us to understand how rivers and associated aquatic habitats will be impacted as glaciers continue to thin and recede in southeast Alaska.